it is still in reflux mode, we need to make sure that we've got the unit set up correctly. First things first, we need to check that our tip is in the is the correct one. Um, right now we've got a pot still tip in here, so we just need to loosen that one here. You can use this little spanner if that's a little bit tight, and just give that a little turn that way, and then we'll just unscrew that one. Now you can differentiate between the two tips by the P on the pot still mode tip and the R on the reflux mode tip. So we're just going to switch into the R and turn that one counterclockwise to tighten. And tighten it, you no know, need to use the spanner for that. Next up we need to make sure that our saddles are in the correct place um, and that we've also removed our botanical basket if that's already installed. And we just need to make sure that the saddles are below the wear, which is the narrowest circle that you can see inside the cylinder here. You'll also want to make sure that you've got stainless steel saddles followed by copper saddles at the top. So once we've checked that, we can just pop that cap back on. So now that our unit's set up in reflux mode, we can now add the wash to the boiler. So to do that, we just need to lift the head unit off of the boiler like so and place it gently down. And then we need to add our ceramic boil enhancers and our distilling conditioner. Now these aid in preventing any surge boiling or foaming during the distillation, so very important to add these. They come with the um, Air Still Essentials distillation kit, um, which includes all the equipment and ingredients required to make a neutral spirit. Add our ceramic boil enhancers, followed by a cap full of distilling conditioner. So now that we've got our distilling conditioner and our ceramic boil enhancers in the boiler, we can go ahead and add our sugar wash to make a neutral spirit. Cool. So we're going to go ahead and pour this into the boiler. So we're just going to top it up to the 4 litre line, which is this full line here. Now we're ready to start distilling, I'm going to get my power cord ready. Once we've put the head unit back onto the boiler, we're going to take this plug here and that will plug into the back of the boiler and we just need to make sure that the rubber seal is not visible around the edge of the boiler. So place that down firmly and then we're going to plug the smaller plug into the side of the boiler back here. And then this plug here is going to plug into the front of the unit. Now that the unit's all set up we just need to check that our four shots collection vial is empty and correctly in place. Press the vial firmly up into the socket to ensure it's correctly fitted. So next we're going to grab our collection vessel, make sure that's at least 800 mils, and pop that just in front of the head unit like so. Make sure your power is switched on at the wall and then we're going to use the mode selector button to turn the unit on. Now we're in standby mode which flashes white and then we'll press the mode selector button again, flash green indicating it's in reflux mode. You'll hear the pump start up briefly as well as the fan and that's just to indicate that the unit's working and then you'll also see that the boiler light has come on red. Now that our boiler's switched on it's going to take about 60 to 90 minutes for it to reach distillation temperature. During that time your mode selector button is going to flash green. Once it's reached temperature it will reach a solid green line and you'll start to see liquid forming in the collection vial here. Leave that vial in there for the duration of your run and once that's full it will start to come out here into your collection vessel here. If for any reason you need to stop your run you can do so by switching the mode selector button off here or you can turn the unit off at the wall. Um, prior to reusing it ensure that you do let the unit cool down. Give the wash a nice stir to agitate the wash and aerate it. You can also empty it and then refill it and make sure that you use fresh ceramic boil enhancers before distilling again. We've now waited our 60 to 90 minutes and as you can see our mode selector button is now solid green and our four shots collection vial has started to collect. Make sure that you do keep this in place even when full throughout the duration of the run. After approximately four hours, all of the alcohol will have distilled off of your wash and your Estel Pro will automatically shut itself off. Now that we've collected approximately 500 mils of spirit, we're going to then measure the ABV before moving on to diluting that spirit. So I'm going to take my measuring cylinder here and my alchemeter here and we're going to transfer some of our spirit into the 
just measuring so I'm making it. And then we're just going to place the alchemeter in like so. And wait for it to settle before taking a reading on the side. So we're sitting at 90% ABV. So because I know we've got 500 mils here and we've got 90% ABV, we want to dilute this down to 40% ABV. To do that, we need 600 mils of cool, clean drinking water, as well as a larger vessel to mix the two together in. We're going to pour our neutral spirit into here, followed by our 600 mils of water. This is going to bring us up to 1.1 litres and then we're just going to measure that ABV again just to make sure it is at 40%. Okay, now we're at sitting at 40% and we're ready to move on to our next steps. But now that we're at our correct ABV, which for us is 40% ABV, I can then move on to either filtering, flavouring, ageing or moving on to a botanical run. Now that our distillation is complete, we can go ahead and remove our four shots vial and then we can discard those four shots. If you're finding it difficult to remove the vial, you can simply use your finger to loosen the seal around the edge like so. And then you can just pull the vial and it should come away a lot more easily. After you finish your distillation, let the unit cool for 20 minutes before moving the head unit and then proceeding to emptying out the boiler and cleaning out the unit if required. If you've left the head unit on the boiler for slightly longer than 20 minutes, you may find it a little bit more difficult to remove from the unit itself. If that's the case, just remove the column cap as so, and that will alleviate some of the pressure, allowing for the easy removal of the head unit. If you've made an eight litre wash, you'll have four litres remaining. If that's the case, simply repeat this process with the remaining four litres. 